someone will take the time Don't go look at me Here I am Now if you want A real good friend Or if you need Some sweet loving Or if you're Looking for someone Who won't pretend Don't go looking babe Here I am Start a rain. Do you have the honey thing? Make a shot. All right, y'all, for supper tonight, we're having some baked fish. Some grilled chicken because not everybody likes fish. Shrimp. We're gonna do some homemade hush puppies and some of this rice We were gonna cook the fish outside. We were gonna grill it, but it looks like it's gonna rain again. Titus had some more horses to go trim real quick, so we're just gonna bake them in the oven. He got some cocktail sauce and some tartar sauce, but I also had this tartar sauce already here, and the great value kind is my favorite. It tastes like Long John Silver's. We've gotten this kind before too, and it tastes more like Captain D's tartar sauce. I've already got the potatoes in the oven. I was gonna cook them in the Instant Pot, but y'all still could not find my knob. I went ahead and ordered one. It's supposed to be here in a couple of days. And today, like, of all days, I'm longing to make yogurt in the Instant Pot. <laughs> so I searched for the knob earlier this afternoon. We pulled out the little shelf beside the refrigerator in there, searched all over, could not find it. Apparently it fell into something or may have accidentally been thrown away. I don't know what happened to it. And I just used the Instant Pot, you know, I use it several times a week so i don't know what happened to it but i went ahead and ordered a new one the way it'll go as soon as the new one gets here we'll find the old one <laughs> but then at least i'll have an extra one we have lots of slime and putty and play-doh action going on over here before we start cooking the rest of the food though we have laundry to switch out and i have time for one more load tonight <laughs> Okay, we're starting out with the hush puppies. We're putting in a one cup of yellow cornmeal. We need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, a fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour, and you can whisk all that together. Cece's got one egg going in there, three-fourths of a cup of milk, and a whole diced onion. I've already got some oil heating up over here in the iron skillet. So as soon as Sissy gets that mixed, I'll go ahead and start making these puppies. <laughs> All right, the oil is ready. I'm just dropping them in with this little cookie scoop. Of course, you could do them bigger than this if you wanted to. 
they're gonna be like little puppy patties instead of ball shaped. Next thing we're gonna do is get the fish in the oven. We're using catfish fillets. All right, so we're just gonna season this with some salt and pepper. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of garlic powder. And a little bit, <laughs> I keep adding stuff, and a little paprika. This is not gonna take very long in the oven at all. We're gonna put just a little bit of butter over the top, cover it with foil, and stick it in the oven with the potatoes. Now, for those of us who don't want fish, we have some chicken, and I'm just gonna put Kent Rollins seasoning on this chicken, and we're gonna cook it in the same pan that we cooked the hush puppies in. So we'll just season, top and bottom, throw them in the pan. We've decided we like hush, what do we call them? Hush patties, hush, hush patties. Patty. We like them better than the hush puppy balls. It looks like balls. a salmon patty. <laughs> or a squash patty. Or a squash patty. But it's a hush puppy. Yeah, Joker's good. You can even see a mini pancake in that Joker if you look hard uh -huh, enough. Uh-huh, yeah. Woo! He's checking the feet. Woo! We got some good stuff going on right here tonight. I know, watch your face. <laughs> we got a good little meal preparing for you, everybody. You don't know how to cook the butter. Yeah, we'll just take that off right there and let that begin to do something. Do something. But right now, I'll be like eating sushi. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I ain't no sushi cowboy. Look. Look what I'm bringing. The butter. Universal. <laughs> the chicken is looking good. Almost done. So I'm about to clean the stove and I wanted to show y'all this real quick because I had a lot of questions about it the last time I showed it. So I'm just putting down some baking soda onto the eyes that look really bad or the burners, we say eyes anyway. And I'm gonna use some of this degreaser here. I got this one from Dollar General. It's just an all-purpose degreaser spot remover. You can use pretty much any multi-purpose cleaner. You can also just use peroxide. Baking soda and peroxide will get it off. And of course, you know, there's stuff that's made for cleaning the glass tops at Walmart or wherever you can get that stuff. But if you're out, you can also do it this way. So I showed y'all a little non-scratch scrubby thing there. I got it from Dollar General. And I just put that on there and let it sit while I finish cleaning up. So it probably sat there for about maybe 10 minutes, I guess. So now I'm just using the non-scratch scrub sponge and I just rub it in a circular motion. And the baking soda and the cleaner make like a little paste, or like I said, you could use peroxide. It just makes a little cleaning paste. And I just rub usually in a circular motion until it's all gone. It just takes about probably five minutes to scrub it all off. And the longer you just let it sit there, it kind of, it's easier then to wipe it clean, you know, just scrub and then wipe it clean and boom, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> 